Hi everybody, Lori here. Welcome to the start of another week-long reading vlog. So stay tuned. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Hi everybody. Welcome to another vlog. I got some stuff in the mail. I opened it up and I actually started um, filming it. But it was so long, so I wanted to shorten it. So I'll just show it to you now that I opened it. <laughs> but I have two books. I got Plain Bad Heroin, Heroin by Emily, Emily M. Danfort with illustrations by Sarah Lott, Lott, Lott or Lottman or something like that. And all I know about this is it's a story within a story within a story. I know these girls get obsessed and then... They get killed, and it looks like these bees did the killing, and it's set in a boarding school type thing, and after they die, like, this other author is, like, writing a book. I don't know exactly all the details, but something like that. I just know it keeps saying that, it says at the end here, it says, like I was just saying, a story within a story within a story, and featuring black and white, period inspired illustration bad plain bad hero is a devilishly haunting modern masterwork of mm, metaphysic something like that that manages to combine the gust, gist, ghostly sensibility of sarah waters with the dark imagination of imagination of marcia marcia Passa, 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 how do you say her name and the sharp humor and exclusive social commentary of Curtis Sentinfield, something like that, into one laugh out loud, funny, and one, I mean, wonderfully luminex read. This is like a used copy, so it's like, kind of like not in the best of shape. But yeah, that's what that looks like. That's a little. These and it just looks like that, and then like that. But I will show you an illustration. And there is a map too, because like I said, it's set like in a a girls' school. Yeah, okay, it's a girls' school. And it has like a little thing where you can put your name. This book belongs to if you want. There's a map. News, like I said, it says there's illustrations. I'll show you one of the illustrations. If I can find an illustration. I know they have illustrations. They also have uh, footnotes. I just saw I saw some footnotes. I don't know if it's everywhere. I don't see them on every page. Well, so footmarks, but footmarks. <laughs> you guys know what I meant. But here's the illustration. Footnotes. Yeah. And then I got from Lit Crate Joy, one of their classics. They do like a a collection, a classic collection that you can do. Like you could buy them all at once, um, or you can do them individually. Um, you know, you pay for them all at once, so you can pay for them individually. I think this one was. This is the second print, I think. I know I didn't get the first print, but yeah, because they sold out before I had money, so I got this print, and that's Withering Heights. Oh, look at this! Isn't that cool? It has on the on the um, dust jet, uh, the box, whatever you want to call it, slipcase. They have each of the characters. I've never read Weathering Heights. I hope this book don't break. It's weird. It just feels like it's not very binded very well. I hope that's not the case, and I'm just thinking, feeling that way. But look at this! Isn't it gorgeous? It's so so pretty. It's gold edges or whatever you want to say. You know, I don't even know too much about this. I don't know. Is this like a, I think it was supposed to be like a gothic novel? Catherine and Heath, Heathcliff, how do you say his name? There's like a family tree. I don't know too much about this. Because like I said, I don't read classics. Let's see. 
Okay, yeah, because it says it's a swirl and tell, a passion of obsession. Love that morphs into madness. It's not a straightforward story, a love story, even a happy story. But it's the complex layered narrative that draws us back again and again. Okay, cool. I knew it had like, like a dark feel to it. But there's a ribbon in it. It's gold ribbon like the edges are gold. I'll show you one of the pictures, the illustrations, I mean. Here's one of the illustrations. Isn't it gorgeous? So pretty. And also, I also got photo strips. I'm not sure who it's for, what characters it's for. Looks like the Princess and the Frog. Uh, of different different uh, characters, like like you know, like maybe Snow White. I think that might be Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. I can't get it open. This is gonna be another long intro. <laughs> I mean, beginning. Looks like it's just open in the next couple of seconds. But this is cool because they gave me like a little um, book thingy that you can put like little stickers on your things. But. So I guess you could put this on your, yeah, passport sticker thing. I'll show you to you in a minute. But it just says Wuthering Heights. I could put that there. And I can use this as a bookmark. It says shop our classic collection at litjoycrate.com. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Vince made macaroni and cheese. So Rapunzel, the princess and the frog, uh, is it called the Princess and the Frog? I can't remember. It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I'm not sure which one this one is. Help me, you guys. Who is this one? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and here's the passport. Well, here's the thing that says thank you for ordering and all that. But here's the passport. Look at it. Isn't that cool? And I can put that Wuthering Heights one in here. It says, welcome to our world. And then there's like a little thing where you could put like your different thing and then your your picture here and different stickers like if you add on certain things you could put it on here yeah it's really cool and then there's some stickers i'm not going to get it out because we'll be here all day and i'm going to go get my macaroni but there's that i started um hold on a minute you guys it fell down I started um, a, a Lotso, a Lotso, a Lotso for Dionysus. I, Dionysus, I forget how you say that, got that, the name of that person. But it's red or white cover, prop six for the uh, Olympic, Olympic Society that I'm doing. So yeah, I'll talk more about that later. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna go and eat and when I've read some more, I will update you guys. Okay. Love you guys. Hi, everybody. Good evening and happy Tuesday. I hope you haven't really read anything. Um, I can't remember if I updated you, but I did get to page um, 60 in... Uh, I forgot it was called Lasso. Lasso. A lot so, a lot so. I forget how you say her name. But yeah, I did get to page 60 in that, and I'm really liking that. That's about the only thing I really read, but I wanted to show you stuff that I got. Now, first, my favorite candy bar, yummy. And they got me some eyeshadow. It was a little expensive, but I, I have to buy, like, the hypoallergenic, or however you say that word, because how bad my... Uh, how bad it bothers my eyes, like cheap makeup. All right, look at how shiny. Ooh, shiny. If I can get it open, I'll show you the colors. I don't know if you can see the colors very well. Those are the colors. And it's called pink chocolate or something like that. I'll tell you in a second for sure. Yeah, pink chocolate. That's pretty cool. I forget the name of the place where I got it from. Oh, here we go. Let me see if it even tells you. It even tell. Oh, Alta, 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 something like that. And they said, if you come back in August at your birthday time, get you, we'll give you something for free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you 
Ooh, I don't know what. <laughs> I didn't think free's cool, but so I got that. I'm really excited to try that. And I got a couple of books from Amazon. I got The Queer Principle of Kit Webb by Kat Sebastian. This is a historical romance, so I'm gonna see if it'll fit. Um, at the, end of my, in the, at the end of the month, um, Jess from Peace Love Books, X's and O's, and then two other people. I can't remember their their channel name. They're do, they're um, hosting the historical readathon romance. It's like the it's either from the twenty sixth of June to the fourth of July or the twenty eighth of June to the fourth of July. I'm pretty sure it's the twenty eighth, but I'm not positive because I wanted to read at least one or two books. I have a book coming tomorrow that is the group pick for that one, and I'll show it to you when it gets here tomorrow. But yeah, I love this cover. And I guess one is a pirate. I'll just read to you what it says. It says, Kit Webb has left his stand and delivery, I mean, deliver adventures behind him. But dreary days at his coffee house have begun to make him pine for the head, I mean, he'd rush a thievery. When a handsome yet, ignorant, or how do you say that word? Archist, aristic, how do you say that word? Storms into his shop, Kit quickly realized he may be unable to deny whatever this high-born man desires. In order to save himself and a beloved friend, Percy, Lord Holland must go against every gentleman behavior he held dare to gain what he needs most. A book that once belonged to his mother, a book his father never lets out of his sight and could be Percy's salvation. More comfortable in silk-filled ballrooms than coffee house frequent by pr criminals, Percy finds that his attempt to hire the roughly hue, something like that, H-E-W-N, highwayman, formerly known as Glad Hand Jack, proves equally part frustrated and electrified. Kit refuses to participate in the robbery, but agrees to teach Percy how to do the deed. Percy knows he has little choice but to submit and... And as the lessons in theory begin, he discovers theft isn't the only crime he's desperate to co commit with Kit. But when their carefully plan goes dangerously wrong and shocking revelations threaten to tear them apart, can these stolen hearts overcome the impediment in their paths? Sounds really good. I'm really excited. Like I said, it is historical romance, so... I can read it if I decide that I want to participate. We will see. I probably will because they're fun. And then I got Daughter Daughter of Sparta. Sparta, is that how you say it? By Claire M. Andrews. I don't know too much about this. I'll tell you in a minute. I didn't even look like yet just to see if there's anything special. Nope, nothing special. Just a quick that. Excuse me. I had a salad earlier. <laughs> on the back it says, A fresh, originally spun on classic Greek mythology. An action-packed adventure with phenomenal, 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 I guess, writing and empowering female characters. I was absolutely in, in, enrolled, in, enrolled, how do you say that word, by the book. Adeline Grace, the author of all the stars and teeth series. And there's like a little, you know, like a little part from the book there, but I'll just read to you what it says here. Sparta, Sparta forged her into a deadly weapon. Now the gods need her to save the world. 17-year-old Daphne has spent her entire life honing her body and mind into that of a warrior, hoping to be accepted by the unyielding people of ancient Sparta. But an unexpected encounter with the goddess Artemis, who holds Daphne's brother's fate in her hand, upends up ends, the life she worked so hard to build. Nine mystery items have been stolen from Mount Olympics. And if Daphne cannot find them, the gods wanting, waning, how do you say that, power, will, powers will fade away. The mortal world will descend into chaos and her brother's life will be forfeited. Guided by... Armith oh, ah, yeah, Armithis twin, the handsome and entirely too self-assured god Apollo, 
Daphne's journey will take her from the labyrinth of Minotaur, of the Minotaur, I mean, to the riddled, riddle spending spindix of the bis, to bis, I forget how you say that word. Team her up with mythological, mythological, mythol how do you say that, legends such as Theris, Therius, Thesis, something like that, and oh boy, Hippolyta, Hoopa, it's H I P P O L Y T A or something like that, of the Amazons and pit her, and pit her against their god. I mean, their gods themselves. A re in re interpretation of the classic Greek myth of Daphne and Apollo, daughter of Sparta by debut author Claire M. Andrews turns a traditional male-dominant mythology we know into a heart-pounding and empowering female lead adventure. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. Yes, a mayhaya. Yes, 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 yes. You guys know I love me a map in a book. So woohoo, and I love this cover. I don't mind people on the cover, especially this, because you can't even see your face. Ah, oh, that looks like it's going to be so good. I definitely want to read this soon. I might try to put it in here this month. Who knows? But those are the two books I got today, and that's the eyeshadow I got today. So that's my haul of stuff for today. I'm also supposed to be getting something from M Melon tomorrow. I don't know what it is, but I got a thing for the UPS saying, you're going to be getting something from M Melon tomorrow. I don't know if I pre-ordered something and forgot. You know what I mean? Like pre-ordered and got like a gift for pre-ordering and I just forgot. Or if they're sending me something else, who knows? I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. And like I said, I got a couple of Amazon books coming tomorrow. But hopefully I'll get some reading in. The last today, yesterday and today, I just feel like watching videos and just relaxing. But I probably will get some reading in tomorrow. If nothing else, I might start either the Black Flamingo and finish it because it's quick. It should be quick because it's verse. Uh, Prince and the dress, the Prince and the Dressmaker because that it's a, um, a graphic novel, so that should be first. Or Heart Stoppers Volume. Be quick or heart star heart stoppers volume three because in the next couple of days to a week i should be getting heart stopper volume four okay i'm gonna let you guys go <laughs>
that's a m there i can't really tell i think it was that way the the um my book plate okay so that's what i got from melon today and then i got a couple of books from from um amazon that sucked <laughs> i can never tear these things there we go i didn't realize these books were gonna be so thin I knew the one would be because it's, um, what you call it? It's a math paperback. But I didn't think the other one was going to be so little. So I got, um, so, uh, Jess from Peace Love Books, X's and O's. Her and, uh, Remarkable Lisa, and I can't remember the other YouTuber's name, but they're doing the historical romance that they do. And, um at the end of the month, and this is the group book for it. It's a little damaged, but what can you do, right? And it's called A Scandalous Deal. I think this is the, the group pick. I think, I could be wrong. I think it might be the group pick. I know I got it for some reason. If it wasn't the group pick, then I picked it for a different reason. But I know it has to do with, um, I bought it because it, it, I knew it would fit one of the prompts because one of the prompts is like where they're, I don't know what the word is, like a clinch, like where they're clinching each other, like how that is. I don't know if that's the right term. Jess says it on her, on her channel, what it is. It says, um, they call her Lady Unluckly with three dead fiancés, Lady Eva, Eva, I mean, Hyde has positively no luck when it comes to love. She set sail for New York City, determined that nothing will deter her dream of becoming an architect. Certainly not an unexpected passionate, 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 pass, I can get the word out, passionate shipboard encounter with a mysterious stranger. But Eva's misfortune strikes once more when she discovers a stranger who sweeps her, who sweep, swept her off her foot, feet, oh gosh, I can't talk today, and none other than her new employee, or is Lady Irresistible. Philip Mansfield reluctantly agrees to lift the fairy lady over, Eva, Lady Eva, oversee his luxury hotel project while vowing to keep their relationship strictly professional. Yeah, I don't think this one was the group pick, because I think the group pick had more, um, can't remember but I think this I picked because it, um, she mentioned it Jess and she said this is a really good book and I wanted to try a Joanne or I think or maybe she didn't recommend this but I know she recommended a book by Joanne Shoup and I and this one looked good to me so maybe that's why I picked it I can't remember now but anyways this is Philip Mann we'll start there Mansfield reluctantly agrees to let the fairy Lady Eva oversee his luxury hotel project while vowing to keep the relationship strictly professional. Yet Eva is more capable and more alluring than Philip first thought, and he cannot keep from drawing up a plan of his own to seduce her. says, when a series of on-set accidents makes it clear somebody wants Lady Unlikely to earn her nickname, Philip discovers he's willing to do anything to protect her, even if it requires a scandalous deal. Yeah. So, I think I just picked this one because of the thing. I don't think it was the group pick. For some reason, the group pick seemed like it was something different. I'll have to look at her video again. And uh, if I, when I look at it again, I'll let you guys know for sure. <laughs> what the group pick was. But the other book I got was by S.T. Gibbons. It's called A Drowry, Drowry of Blood. Look at this cover. Isn't that creepy? It's like a reimagined of Dracula's wives. I think that's what it said. But isn't that, I just love this cover. I don't know what it is about this cover, but I just like it. Then up here it says, to those who escaped a love like death, and to those still caught in its grasp, you are the heroes of this story. I like reading the um, 
the uh, what do you call it who they're like thanking or whatever or who they're who they're giving their uh whatever you want to say to i don't know what it's called i forget but anyways it says a lyrical and dreamy reimagining of dracula bride a drowry of blood is a story of desire obsession and emancipation immaculate patient something like that so saved from the brink of death by a mysterious stranger, Constant, Constantine, Constanta, Constantine, something like that, is transfer, transformed from a medieval, medieval peasant into a bride fit for an undying king. But when Dracula throws a cunning aristocrat, aristocrat how do you say that, and starving artist into his web of passion and deceit, Constantine realized that her beloved is capable of terrible things. Finding comfort in the arms of her rival consort, she begins to unravel their husband's dark secret. With the lives of everyone she loves on the line, Constantine, or Constanta, Constantina? I think it's Constantina. Will have to choose between her freedom and love for her husband, but bounds, but bounds, yeah, forged by blood can only be broken by death. Sounds like it's gonna be good. It says well, they're calling dreamy. So that's cool. And it's short. It's um I'll tell you how many pages. It is um two hundred and thirty five pages. So that'd be perfect for a readathon. This one is 300 and almost 400. It's um, 370, 373 pages. So. But those are what two books I got. I don't think I have any more books coming until next week. No. Unless we go somewhere that has books and I buy some. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because this was a long clip and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to read at all today. I don't know what is going on with me. I can't decide what book I want to read. I keep, like, starting a book, and then I'm like, I'm really not feeling this one. Or I'm liking it, but I just don't feel like reading it right now, you know? So. It happens. But, yeah. Um, I, oh, also, I should be getting my Heart Stopper Volume 4 pretty soon because I got my um, tracking thing today that says I can start tracking it. Even though it says, you know, the 24-hour thing. Wait, 24 hours? You know. But anyways, I should be getting that soon. So, yay! And then once I get it, I'm going to read three and then that one. So, you can stay tuned for that, too. All right, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I know my hair is a mess. <laughs> I'm going to take that out. <laughs> now I made it worse. <laughs> I'm reading um, something totally different. I'm reading The Black. Flamingo by Dean Ada. Hey, cutie, what you doing down there? What you doing? Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to get my little girl. Is she so cute? Mm -hmm. She told mama's little baby. But yeah, I don't know too much about this. I just, it has to do with um, dragon stuff and coming out and. just um michael trying to figure out you know their their identity you know what you know so yeah he also finds out about drag so i'm gonna say that and it shows how he becomes the black or they, well, it says he, so he, how he becomes the black living go. So, yeah, it's interesting so far. I've, I don't really, I've never read a book in, um, what's it called? Uh, I forgot what it's called, in verse, but it's interesting. I think it's verse. I think that's what somebody was saying. That it's verse. So, yeah, it's, very interesting 
Look what I'm using as a bookmark. <laughs> That's Vincent when he was a baby. Wasn't he so cute? Oh, look at my little boy. He ain't a little boy anymore. Tomorrow he's going to be graduating. He's officially will be graduated from high school. So he is done. So. I'm kind of emotional because he's my youngest, you know. And now he's going to be graduating. He's not little anymore. Wasn't he so cute there? Oh, he's just so adorable. But in this book, I'm on 139. And it's interesting. Uh, I, I like the flow of the of it the lyric how lyrical it is yeah it's very um interesting um i think for um my first book that's ver in verse that it's going really well i wasn't sure um what to expect because like i said i've never read a book that was in verse and i'm not like a huge like poetry person but i i find a lot of the stuff that is written in here very beautiful like um the very big beginning I like where it says, I am the black flamingo. The black flamingo is me trying to find myself. This book is a fairy tale in which I am a prince and the princess. I am the king and the queen. I am my own wicked witch and fairy godmother. This book is, this book is a fairy tale in which I'm cursed and blessed by others. But finally, I am the fairy finding my own magic. I like that one right there. And then there's some other ones that um, parts that like really are beautiful. And kind of heartbreaking. Like this one. Because the turtle because the turtle carries its home on its back, it does not have to search for one. It is born with a soft shell the harden, that hardens as it grows. The turtle's backbone is part of its shell meaning an accident or attack could break the turtle's back leaving the turtle with a broken home it cannot escape from so I just like, like when they go into the, um, the lyrical parts of it yeah I really like that part so yeah but I'm gonna let you guys go because it should be almost time to eat and yeah um, I might finish this before I go to bed I might not we'll see um, I might watch video and ju I mean, just watch videos until it's time to go to bed. I don't know yet. But if I read any more or if I finish it, most likely if I finish it, I will be back on. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys. Tomorrow, I probably won't be doing a lot of um, updating tomorrow or reading because, like I said, Vince graduates tomorrow. So, yeah, and I babysit in the morning. So, we'll see. I should have a few hours that I can read. So, all right, I will talk to you guys all later. Oh, I was going to say, that one book, this one, was not the group book. So, for that historical romance read that I'm talking about. I did order the book, though, because um, I got Aunt, my, my niece, my, she um, paid me on the app thingy that she pays me through. And, yeah, so I bought that book with, with a little bit of the money that I'm getting from her so yeah so I will show you guys that tomorrow when I get it all right I'll talk to you guys all later okay bye say see you guys later hi everybody Rob made chocolate chip M&M cookies so good mm -mm -mm. but I finished the black flamingo I gave it a 4.5 for my personal rating but a 4 on Goodreads um, I know this can fit for a prompt for both of them, but I can't remember, um, what it would fit for. You know what I mean? Like, I know, um, one of them is, um, like, out of your comfort zone, which would be this. I'm, I don't read verse, so that definitely would be out of my comfort zone. And the other one would be for a different format, like, um, verse, um, graphic novel, things like that. So... This could work for both of them. And then it will work for LGBTQ+. Yeah. I'm not sure if it would work for, remind you of a, a pride flag? I'm not sure if that would work. I would think it would. So, yeah. 
But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I didn't cry, but I almost felt like I was going to a couple times. I really like Michael. Um, there were some really jerks that he met, but there was also some really cool people that he met. Yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Um, just some stuff, it, um, I think it was more me than the book. It's just that I wasn't, like, there was just little pieces, I don't know how to explain it, that was just not a five star, that made it not a five star. I don't know how to explain it. But I still thought it was beautifully written. I loved the characters. Well, I liked Michael as a character. And for the most part, I liked... Well, I did. I liked his, uh, his mom and his sister, his little sister. The dad, I guess, didn't want nothing to do with him for some reason. I don't know why. But, yeah, which I thought was sad, but... It was a good book. Yeah, I think for the first time ever read, um, for the first verse book that I ever read, it was really good. So, but I'm gonna let you guys go, and if I read anything tomorrow, I will update you guys. Otherwise, I will get some reading in on Friday. So, either tomorrow or Friday, I will talk to you guys. Okay, bye. I dare you to fix me. I'm crossing. Hi everybody, I'm sorry this vlog is probably really boring because I can't even remember if I finished any books on this in this vlog. <laughs> and I keep changing books as you're going to see in a second. <laughs> but this one um, still will work for whatever you want to find, whatever you want to find. Yeah, because it's a buddy read. I didn't have one picked out because I wasn't sure if I was going to be buddy reading with anybody. But me and my friend Drew are buddy reading. Even though he's going to be way done before me because I'm still in this reading slump. But anyways, we're buddy reading the second book in the City of Brass, which is The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. And he's probably like, uh, probably like close to 300 now because I know he was like on 100 and something. And I'm only on 94. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Like whenever I pick up a book. I get to a certain point, then I put it down, and I'm like, I want to read this book instead. I don't know what's going on with me. Like, right now, I want to read a graphic novel, or I want to read a mystery. So, yeah, I'm just, like, all over the place. I don't know, you guys. And then I was doing a vlog that you guys might see. I don't know, because I haven't read a book for that vlog in probably a week or close to it. Because I'm just not stick into one book I'm gonna try I'm really really trying you guys but I'm really liking this so far I mean it's not like super exciting yet sorry I got something in my eye but it's not like overly exciting yet but I like the characters so that's something even though I don't know how I feel about a certain character that I don't want to say in case it would spoil you guys for the for, so I mean for, yeah spoil you guys so but one of the characters I'm not sure about and I know this character everybody else seems to really love and just in case you know um just be, just in case um you've read this book the character that I'm talking about that I'm not sure I like starts with a D So, D.A. That's all I'm going to say. But anyways, I'm not sure, like, how I feel about that character. <clears throat> but, um, Allie, Ellie, I call him Allie, Eli, Ellie, Ali, Ali, I mean, or how you say his name, I think it's A-L-I, that's the shortened version of his name. But anyways, I really like that character. And I really like uh, Zerf Zerfar, or Zafar, how do you say the girl's name? Nara? Naria? Naria? Nara? Something like that. I don't know why I don't like this other one, because everybody seems to like that character. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be rooting for this other character, because I like Ali, or Ellie, Ellie. 
And yeah, I just don't know if I'm supposed to be rooting for this other character, even though everybody else seems to like this other character. But just certain things this other character does rubs me the wrong way. That's why I'm not like the biggest fan of this certain character. But yeah. But yeah, it's, um, like I said, I got a long way to go. But um, so far, so good. But yeah, um, today was my sister's wedding. I did go to the wedding. I did get to see her um, exchange her 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 and I got to see her and um, her husband. I can say now, Bobby, do their vows, and you know, and get pronounced husband and wife. But I couldn't stay for the rest because um, Hannah was having another one of her panic attacks. So my brother-in-law took me over me and Hannah over to him, his and my sister's house and my mom's. And me and her just had a chill couple of, like hour and a half, two hours there. And then Rob and the rest of them came and picked us up from there. And then we dropped off my niece and my nephew over at the uh, where they live. And then we came home. So I didn't really get to like visit with all my like like my nephew who's from um I think he's from Arizona. I always forget where he lives in. I think it might be Arizona. But anyways, he's he lives far. I didn't get to like really visit with him. I did get to give him a hug though. But you know, I just didn't get to visit like I wanted to. But it was still a good day and and the weather held off at least until, you know, they got married and stuff and had somewhat of a reception. But Marsha looks so beautiful. I tried to use my new camera because I was going to try and do video, but my hands were shaking so bad. And it was so close to, like, where you can um, turn the, um, you know, push the power for the, um, and turn it off for the video part. And I accidentally must have hit it and didn't realize it because it only like recorded a couple seconds of it. So that really kind of upset me that it did that, that I did that. But what can you do, right? What can you do? I'll learn how to work that camera eventually and then hopefully I won't do that again. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that. But um, yeah, this is gonna be the end of the vlog because yeah, I'm just not not sure what's going on. And I want to start a fresh vlog. Um, I don't know if I'll start it tomorrow or Monday. Depends on, like, if we go out tomorrow and what time we get back. Because we were talking about maybe going to the dunes and have a cookout. Because Thursday, I told you guys that on last Thursday, Vince graduated. So, we think about going to the sand dunes. And Rob was going to make stuff on the grill out there. And, you know, we can walk the trails or go by the um, beach that they have. So, yeah, that's what we're thinking about doing. And then I don't base it until Tuesday. So, Monday, hope, I don't think we have anything to do. So, hopefully Monday I'll get a lot of reading in. I think I might change to a lot of graphic novels. I got um, Heartstopper Volume 3 and 4, so I might concentrate on that. And um, maybe The Prince and the Dressmaker. I don't know. I'm going to see if maybe if I read a few graphic novels and then try to go back into, you know, like regular novels, if that will help. So we will see. But yeah, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. And I will catch you guys when I make the next reading vlog. And hopefully I will actually get more reading in next week. We shall see. Mm -hmm.